This is Mark Lewis with Dark Controls. Today we're going to talk about the ASP. Now there's been a lot of discussion about where the name ASP came from. It, it's not a biblical snake. Uh, most people think it is automatic set point. It is a, an auxiliary device. It's a device that's used with a drive and the beauty is it can be any drive and will give it added capabilities economically and simply. So let's look at the uh, ASP. This is an ASP40. It's a panel mount device. It comes complete with a gasket so when you mount it into a panel it's a watertight seal. Inside this top board area right here has three connectors to accommodate some of the options we have available for it. And there's a jumper right here and that controls whether you're able to program the unit. Uh, it, it factory From the factory it ships in the on position. When you're done making your program changes you just move this jumper to the off position. So let's look at a block diagram of a typical ASP system. You'll notice uh, normally with uh, any drive there usually is a speed pot used to adjust the speed of the control uh, which changes the voltage and therefore the speed of the motor. What's different about the ASP, it's very similar to the speed pot in that it has a three wire output just like a potentiometer and it connects to any drive, whether it's a DC drive, an AC drive, a regen drive, any velocity control drive. The difference is it's a closed loop device. So it requires a, an encoder or a speed sensor on the motor to give a signal to be fed back to the ASP. So now let's look at the wiring diagram for a single motor system. You'll see that uh, whether it's an ASP 10 or 40, uh, we wire the speed pot high wiper low output of the ASP directly to the drive and then the drive is connected to the motor. And then the encoder uh, mounted on the motor or somewhere in the motor drivetrain uh, will pick up its 5 volt supply and common from the back of the ASP and then send its signal into the ASP. One of the important things to know about an ASP is it has a minimum and a maximum pulses per minute specification. This will impact uh, the encoder pulse per revolution output you select. On the ASP 10, the maximum number of pulses per minute is 50,000. On the ASP 40, it's 600,000. The minimum for both models is recommended to be 500 pulses per minute minimum. So let's talk about um, in a follower having a, a two motors involved with an ASP system. Here's a wiring diagram showing two motors. The top motor is the master or the leader motor and it's just simply running off of its speed control. There does need to be an encoder mounted on its motor because we need the signal for the ASP. And then on the bottom motor, this is the follower motor. It has its own drive, has an encoder, and what's happening here is we're setting on the front of the ASP the percent of master speed that we desire. So we're sending both signal, both encoder signals into the ASP and on the follower drive we're automatically adjusting the speed set point on that drive based on the percentage uh, setting in the ASP and the actual speed of the leader and the follower motor. So in terms of setting up the ASP from the factory it may actually work uh, the way it's set for you. Basically it's set up for a, an RPM display on a single motor. However, um, you definitely want to check item or parameter number 32. This is the pulses per revolution uh, for the encoder that's being used. If you want to scale the display on one motor, this is a one motor system, if you want to show something other than RPM, 
item or parameter 30 is a known speed for which on item 31 we have a known feet per minute, gallons per minute, whatever the engineering units are that you want to display. So let's say that again. 31 is a known engineering unit in feet per minute, gallons per minute, liters per hour, whatever you want at a known speed which is entered into item 30. Now here's a little tip. If you want to introduce a decimal point you can do that and that allows for a little more granular set point adjustment. So maybe instead of having 50 percent or 50 RPM or 50 feet per minute you want to have 50.0. That can easily be done through parameter number 13. If we have two motors, if we're in follower mode, first of all we need to change the mode in parameter or item 10 to follower mode. We still need to have the actual encoder pulses from the follower and the master entered in on items 32 and 37 respectively. Parameter number 35, we need to set that up also for follower mode, that needs to be changed to a 1. And finally, once again, item 13 can be changed to introduce a decimal point if so desired.